Hello and welcome to Karen and Company. Today we're going to talk about Chinese scalp acupuncture. But we're not going to use needles today because you're at home. I want to teach you that this head, these hands, the feet, the fingers, they're all microsystems of your entire body. So if you're feeling off, you're feeling tired, maybe you've had any type of physical ailments, mental ailments, emotional ailments, it makes no difference. Um, the most important, important thing I believe is this is like exercising your body. This is moving a lot of chi, it's moving a lot of blood, it's saying to your physical body, your mental body, your emotional body, when I rub my head and I have tender spots, sore spots, there is some stagnation there and I'm going to need my fingers and my body to work with me to heal my physical body, my emotional body, and my spiritual body. So I'm going to bring up a little figure. You can read that these little areas that you see, it would be on your hairline. So what I like to do is I like to take all my fingers and I like to push up. And then what I'll do is just go like 30 times. You don't need to know that it's working the head, the gallbladder, the liver, the stomach, the bladder, but it is. You can take it and you can wipe it the whole way back. And what I'm doing is using my fingers like this, going really slow. You can take it all the way to the back and you'll probably feel there's some pretty tender points in there. It's okay. In Chinese medicine, what we believe is if there's tender points, if there's sore points, if there's prickly points, like after just doing this, you might feel a little burning, a little stinging. That's okay because what we're doing is really moving a lot of chi and blood. So we're going to look at this picture again. and You're going to get familiar with what we're doing. So this is the frontal area. If I were to needle you, I would needle you in these areas, but because you're at home, what you're gonna do is move all this chi. Don't worry if your hair messes up, you can fix it. It's all about healing. So you can also take the fingers and just take them up and over, take them up from the eyebrow and over, take them up from the eyebrow and over, Take it up from the eyebrow and over. You can do that as often as you want. It doesn't really make any difference. So the next area I want to talk to you about is the vertex or the top of the head. So people who get frontal headaches, temporal headaches, uh, vertex headaches, it makes no difference. If you or occipital headaches, if you would do this every day, you're going to feel amazing. Now I'm going to show this view to you. And it's a, a, a top view. And so you see the apex of your ears, just the tips and the tips of your nose. So what I would do, if I were needling, I'd find this midline to here. This is what you're going to see with these little white lines there. This is sensory. Uh, let's say you have wind, you've had a stroke, maybe you have tremors, makes no difference. So with the tip of your nose, keeping that in mind and going to the tip of the ear, there is nothing exact you can do here because we're massaging. So we find this midline, if I did it this way, it'd be kind of like this little midline here. And it's not to the back and it's not to the front, it's literally just to the midline. This is do 20. What I love about do 20 is you can just pull your hair up down this midline and you can literally feel like your body lift. It is one of the nicest points if you have depression, you're feeling down, you're feeling fatigued. You can either take it, I like to take a handful, just lightly lift it, lightly lift it, lightly lift it, and I come all the way to the front. People might think, oh my God, that hurts. Well, yeah, the whole point is to move a lot of chi, but after you've done that several times, it doesn't really hurt. So with this point here, you can see the tips of the ears there. I'm gonna go here, and then I'm just going to go back and forth on the midline, and I'm just gonna scratch it. I'm gonna go both directions. And then if you want, you can take your hair, lightly pull it up, lightly pull it up, 
Do a little bit of breathing, take a breath down and exhale. At this point, you should feel a little rejuvenated, um, really good. Then we have this one. This is a lot more, this is just measurements, but I'm gonna try to explain to you. You're gonna see the tip of the ear, and it's gonna go to the glabella or the eyebrow, and we're gonna take it from the midline. If I were needling for issues, we would come down this direction. What that's gonna do is just tell you how many fingers you're gonna move, but we're gonna do something different. We're gonna go ahead from the top and we're just going to, I'll go slow, and I'm just gonna massage temporal to the front. And when I'm doing this, there's some pretty painful things here. <laughs> um, if I had a needle, I would be doing it such. So just go from the front and I'm just using my fingers like this. Front to midline, front to midline, front to midline, front to midline. And if you get a point that's sore, I'm pretty sore right here, just hold it. Just take a breath in and massage it some more. Good, good, doing perfect. Now, I wanna show you, this is a better picture. These are some of the meridians that go up and over and around. You have your bladder, your gallbladder. Um, I, I don't think we have our gall, yeah, we do have our gallbladder, our stomach, um, triple burner, liver. You can see all these different, uh, large intestine, I'm sorry, but you can see. It doesn't matter if you understand that, but when you massage this head and this face, these organ, these channels or meridians match up with their pair. So let's go ahead and just do like this um, from our ear. I'm gonna show you on the outside. I'm gonna do both, but I'm just gonna go back. And then I'm going, I went like this, now I'm going like this. By the time we're done, I want you to do from front to back to top to bottom. Now I'm just going midline from the front to the back, midline to the front to the back. And it is, it's a little sore, <laughs> but it's important. And then these are some of our uh, blood supply to the brain. This is why we really want to work the back of the head, the occipital area. And we have here, down the midline is our sensory. And then here we have our balance. This is on the, um, the occipital here. So it's not way down here below the hairline, it's up. You'll feel this little notch when you put your hand back there. And then we have speech, areas for speech and vision. So I'm gonna show you what you can massage. This is why the head is really important to massage. You don't wanna create a lot of friction, a lot of pain. I want it to be like really mesmerizing, really healing and really rejuvenating. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna do some areas. So I'm gonna do on my occipital area, you can turn your head like I'm turning my head and just leaving my hands still. And now we can do uh, then we have the side areas here. This is a speech area. And so you see my ear. It's about a thumb width above and I'll go slow. We have a speech area here. And then we have a balance, balance areas here. But who cares about all that? Let's just go. And I'm only going like this now. Let's go like that and let's just work every bit of our scalp. When you get to points that are sore, I want you to stay there. I want you to take a breath in and exhale. You can go up, you can go down. So I have points right here that are really tender on both. You may not have those points, so keep working them. Don't scratch them with your nails. Use the pads of your finger. Okay. 
I would say do this for a good five to seven minutes, two times a day. If you have areas that are more tender, stop, hold, and I'm holding like this. Find a place on your head that is tender. Right here I'm tender. Just going to hold it and breathe it out. You're going to find within seconds that tenderness goes away. So this is something you can do at home to move a lot of chi, a lot of energy, and will create a lot of healing for you. This type of um, Chinese scalp acupuncture can help everything from a stroke to depression to uh, everything and anything. If you went to your primary care physician, you could get scalp acupuncture or you can work with your primary care physician and do scalp massage. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please like, subscribe, and watch all my other videos. Thank you. Have a great day.